guys and welcome to my channel. I don't normally do a shopping haul, but considering sometimes you just gotta get outside, you just gotta do a little shopping therapy. I went to <gasps> dun, 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 the world's best place on earth. So, I'm super excited to share with you. This is totally unscripted. Totally just gonna happen. So sit back, relax, and get ready for a little drum roll, please. Cat toy fun. Oh, yes. A little suction cup party happening here. We're gonna see how that plays out later. Could be a fun little video. You know he loves it. Got another, uh-oh, what is this? Oh yeah, something useful. <laughs> Headgear, plug those in, you know, cause gotta listen to those audiobooks. Love me some audible audiobooks. Not sponsored by the way, just sharing. It has worked out quite well. Also, some funsies that I am going to be gifting is some books now you can't go wrong with a dollar book honestly i mean you can but then you're not sad about your purchase so this fun book the gypsy moth summer looked intriguing the entrance says summer 92. gypsy moth caterpillars have invaded avalon island an islet off the east coast now, I don't know where that is off the top of my noggin, but feel free to find it. Avalon Island. Okay. Leslie Day Marshall, only daughter of Avalon's most prominent family, has returned to live in the castle. The island's grandest estate. Leslie's husband, Jules, is African-American, and her children, biracial, and islanders from both sides of the tracks, form fast and dangerous opinions about the new arrivals. Well, that just got interesting and tells you how far I didn't read into this. <laughs> Woo! Love this exotic read so far. Because, you know, when you're dealing with summer, hot as it is outside. As you can tell by my slight tan. <laughs> Maddie La Rosa straddles those tracks. A teen queen with roots in the tawny precinct of East Avalon, as well as the crowded working class quarters of West Avalon, home to Gruder's Aviation Factory. Just felt like it. The lifeblood and bread and butter of the community. When Maddie falls in love with Brooks, Leslie and Jewel's son, that love feels as urgent to her as the questions about the new and deadly cancers showing up across the island. Oh, it got dark. Vivid with young lovers, gangs of anxious outsiders applauding matriarch and her demented husband and a quietly troubled young boy. The Gypsy Moth Summer is about love, gaps in understanding, and the struggle to connect within families, among friends, and between neighbors and entire generations. Holy cow. This beautiful lady, Julia Farro, is the founder of the Second Streets Writers Workshop, a creative home to more than 4,000 writers in New York City, LA, and online. Her first novel, Cutting Teeth was published in 2014, a graduate of Iowa Writers Workshop. Well, good job, Julia. Currently lives amongst two places. Good for her. So, love the bright cover. Loved it. Hence the pickup. Hence the share. Hmm. It plunges readers into a hazy, hot daydream of hidden truth, scandal, and racial prejudice with bold strokes. Bold strokes. You gotta love that word. Mm. Julia Ferro creates a vivid world where privilege and class are merely a veneer to distract from the cracks beneath the surface. Woo! 
don't know about you, but this one's fanning the flames. Lord of mercy. I'm reading a less than ostensus book, but let me carry on with my Dollar Tree excitement. Ooh! This one is called The Mortifications by Derek Palazzo. Open the front cover. See what we got. Woo! Woo! See? These books are expensive. Hardback, people. Hardback for a dollar. You can't go wrong. Derek Palacio's stunning mythic novel marks the arrival of a fresh voice at a new chapter in the history of Cuban-American literature. It's fun. Here we go. In 1980. <laughs> those were the years. Watch out, people. Behave yourself. A rural Cuban family is torn apart during the Marielle boat lift. Uxbal Incarcion. Father has been political insurgent, refuses to leave behind the revolutionary ideals and lush tomato farms of his sun soaked homeland. His wife, Soledad, takes young Isabel and Ulysses hostage and flees with them to America, leaving behind Uxbal for the promise of a better life. But instead of settling with fellow Cuban immigrants, in Miami's familiar heat, Soledad pushes further north into the stark, wintry landscape of Hartford, Connecticut. What was she thinking? There, in the long shadow of the estranged patriarch, now just a distant memory, the Incasiones began a process of growth and transformation in their own way. <coughs> transformation. <coughs> in their own way, each person struggles and flourishes. Isabel, spiritually hungry and desperate for a higher purpose, finds herself connected to the dying in uncanny ways. Ulysses is bookish and awkwardly tall, like his father, whose memory haunts and shapes the boy's thoughts. Presiding over them both is Soledad. Once consumed by her love for her husband, she begins a tempestuous new relationship with a Dutch tobacco farmer. But just the Carcinones began to cultivate their strange new life, Cuba. That's how you say it. Cuba calls them back. Uxbal is alive and waiting. Mm. Breathtaking, soulful, and profound. The Mortifications is an intoxicating family saga and a timely, urgent expression of longing for one's true homeland. Looks fun. Derek Pilat. Received his MFA in creative writing from the Ohio State University. Bro. Oh. His short story, Sugarcane, appeared on the O. Henry Prize Stories 2013. His novella, How to Shake the Other Man, was published by Nuevella Books. He lives and teaches in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Good for you. Um is the co-director of the Mojave School and serves as a faculty member of the Institute of American Indian Arts MFA program. So that he is. Good stuff. So those look seriously exciting. I mean, whoo, hot summer reads, baby. Mm, let me carry on. Let me carry on. Where am I? Ooh. Okay, now, I don't know about you, there's always room for another cat toy. I have awoken the kitty. He has heard the bells. Mm, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> I am in trouble now because he's, he's watching me. Mm, oh. Look out. So, I don't know about you, but I love stickers. Yes. Yes, I am a grown woman. So what? Love stickers. So these are super cute. I'm gonna make some cards later on. Probably not today, 
but tomorrow and I'm gonna post that up so this one out of this world ah so cute this one China super cute I mean honestly aside from the word China who cares they're super cute look at that look at how adorable those are I love K and company I mean bravo and this one also K and company check those out check those out those are gorge right super cute for a wedding especially anytime I mean why you know it's it's timeless you could put this on the black cardstock background yes I just said that because that would be timeless and beautiful because it would really stand out as that mixture does so it's a little off gray but overall with the there you go you can see that now with the color scheme you know for any time wedding make it formal make it less formal with a more neutral pastel background like tan or a light gray or make it dramatic with with a black or orange I mean I don't know it depends on these people's colors let alone maybe they're a sports fanatic so you could totally mix it up in that direction eh, you know I'm trying too hard with my words I'm not gonna worry um, so when I make the cards I also bought set envelopes so that you know you can make a decent size card put it in said decent size envelope the envelope please <laughs> fun now, along with my regifting, I found this cuteness. Look at this. Summer sand and sun, which is what happens when you live in the sunny state of Florida with this precious gift bag. Who doesn't love these colors? Because Lord knows I do. I could paint a room in those colors. So yeah, that I thought would be a fun little regifter that's on the floor now dead and done all right moving forward this is the less intriguing bag so you're welcome to stop now see kitty's excited so gloves could totally get vinyl gloves at the Dollar Tree so they're helpful for cleaning you or in this situation at large what you got to do is when you go out, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> things I needed, dish drainer, another dish drainer. This is fabulous in the sink, by the way, and this one will probably work well in the bathroom because I got her. When you have her, it goes in the dish drain. The other thing you can't get away from, and you must have these at all beautiful times, but they're a pain in the butt when you get them filled with butter. And by butter, I mean when you cook your green beans in butter. Oh, I love it. Or extreme spaghetti sauce. Just can't even. And then, because who knows why, but these are fun. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. So yeah, that. And I'm throwing it all into this beautiful shopping cart <laughs> that I picked up. Because why not? When I'm trying to move junk from room to room, why not? So that is my beautiful dollar store haul. So I'm super excited. So again, things to be regifted. Because why not? That's always fun. Giving. Giving is fun. Giving gifts. Um, the envelope, please, for making some fun cards, because I think I'm super excited, super excited about making these cute little cards with some envelopes, so you've got plenty of space, see, look at all that space, so you could totally, you know, you got puffiness happening here, too, because they're three-dimensional, I believe that's what that's called, <clears throat> dimensional, definitely dimensional. And yeah, I mean, 14 stickers for a buck. This one says 12 pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two, 
Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, down there. Twelve. Haha, -ha, found it. There's a little baby hiding there. Okay. And so, yeah, I mean, cuteness. Look at that. That's a tassel. You know how popular those things are? How cute is that? The great wall, the drag. I mean, that's just going to make a beautiful card. It totally would. Along with the envelopes. The envelope, please. So I'm super excited about that. Dollar Shore Hall. Thanks for joining me. Looking forward to showing you the cards later, probably tomorrow. As I need to craft, I just, I just need to craft. I just gotta do something crafty with my hands so that, you know, I don't go crazy. Cause in this phenomenon of time on own, you can go, I'll start crying. But I'm not. I'm really not that surprisingly. I got out today. Went to the Dollar Tree. Okay. Good times. Thanks for watching. If you like, subscribe. I do have some fun other videos if you want to be a princess. Oh, that's a fun one. You've got to read that one. So, it is the House of Ginger. And there is thehouseofginger.com. So, you can find me on Facebook. Primarily, you can find me on Twitter. Find me on YouTube. And you can find me on thehouseofgender.com. Ta-da! Thanks so much, guys. I look forward to talking with you soon. And if you have any comments, be nice. Because we're trying to be nice to people. I'm not trying to have cancel culture in my life. I'm just trying to be nice. That's all I want. Friends, nice. Yeah. We're not going to agree to disagree. We're going to disagree to agree. We're going to agree to disagree. It's going to happen. It's okay. No stress, people. We're all living through this.